Hopefully, when it's done again, your die has been shaped. All you need to do is turn this dial up and set your car variable to 1. And off it drives. The car will follow a cobblestone track, it won't go backwards, it'll go around corners, junctions don't work, and neither do crossings. But it will follow a track, which I think is quite impressive, because I don't think you know how much it takes to get it to follow a track like this. It takes quite a lot. So as you can see, it goes around corners easily, it never goes backwards randomly, and it goes along quite nicely. The way I can make any sort of track, I can make one on video right now. And you can download it and make your own. There can only be one car at a time, unfortunately, in the world. You can't have a race between two of them. And if you did, it would be kind of boring because they're both moving at the exact same speed. I don't know. Quite useful. I don't think it would be useful for anything, really. But, um, funny little driving mini game. And when it gets under the gold block, it will say finish and it will stop. Quite useful. This could be turned to many things, this is just a little AI to get to follow cobblestone. So, this is all the AI. <laughs> See what I can do quickly now if I can get a diamond block. If I can get a cobblestone block here, just to get it to go all the way around. Change it, or it's, so let's change it so that's a bad lock for now. So my car scored to one, and there's the car. And for some reason, the car side is not going to work. So now it's going to go around, and what I can do is make it go around a loop like this. So it'll just keep going around forever and ever and ever. If I want it to randomly come out of that loop and do this, I can do that. So when it gets to there, it will stop until it can either turn and go back. Maybe I don't want it to do that, maybe I just want it to go like this and back and around. So here it comes to a junction where I have no idea which way to go, so I'll just normally choose one of the ways. Here it comes to another junction, it will normally go... See, sometimes it will glitch like that at junctions. This is why junctions aren't very good. It's because it will glitch. Like that. And just end up going backwards, which is why junctions are not preferred. Okay, so now when it finds an iron block above its head, it will now turn around and go backwards. So I think that's pretty clever logic. Also, but if it finds it not at the end of a road, I believe it will just continue on going, yep. So it has got to be the end of a road for the guard to stop, find it, turn around and go backwards. So what we could decide to do is this. And it wouldn't end up going anywhere because it would have to like continue turning around. But this, I think seriously, is just fun to play with mainly. I mean, I could let's just get it finished. Let's just let it finish. So, as like I said, there will only be one car in the world at a time. As you can see, endless possibilities from the car. Here's the car now. Should work the same, which is a nice time block. So at that, I'm back. Okay, so now after building this simple redstone contraption, as you can see, um, what? Oh. Sorry, it's a bit glitchy. Um, basically, when this has a redstone current, 
it swaps around the pistons. So what we can do now, we can get a car here. And it should... God damn it. Here it goes. It turns up here. Switches that, turns around. And goes back around. Really, really cool. Really cool. Speaking of music, I'm going to take you through it all. This is the main clock. What it does is actually teleports it down and teleports it up. This is to reset the comparators because when it's down, when it's down, look, it can find it. When it's being teleported up, it can't find cobblestone because it's looking. It is the. Yeah. It's the green block. And it's looking for the cobblestone down and to the right. When it's up here, it's looking for it down to the right, it just finds there. So that's how it resets all the comparators. So it turns them off. Then, this is just the summoning thing. All it does is summons a river skull where the player is. And sets the player's card to zero, and then sets its direction or DIR to one, two, three, or four, depending on which way the cobblestone is from the diamond block. Then, what it will do is say it's direction one. If there's a cobblestone block this way, then it will TP it that way, TP the wheel go that way, and change its direction to 2, so now it's facing that way, so it's turned. Because 2 is this one here, which is a bit weird because I couldn't fit it in, like, here. So I had to move it up here. Basically, when it turns, it changes its direction, so now that way is forward, and the way it doesn't want to go is backwards that way. So that's how it works. So I could just make another completely random track right now just to prove it's not just a bunch of set block commands even though I'm pretty sure you guys know it isn't so it keeps running these uh, commands for each of the four directions it will move it forward and then if it turns left or right it can turn left or right it can't suddenly turn around and do a u-turn so yeah I want you to download this I want you to play it a bit just play around do what you want, it's awesome. So, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye! Also, everybody, just a quick note. Um, I've just added capability for level crossings, so... It also always starts now, if it was above. So, when it gets to, you've got to set it up, so... These don't have to be emerald, but this has to be emerald. It will go across the level crossing like that. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching for the second time. Yay! <laughs>